I'm headed back to work, I usually drive about 55 and 70 miles per hour on the highway with this. I mean, it does fine, but this morning, the front wheel started, I mean, the Jeep started vibrating, so I'm just checking to make sure my wheels are tight and also making sure my spacers are tight. So, it's a good thing that I always keep this on my Jeep no matter what. I mean, it is getting a little old and I could get a better brand. But yeah, it just goes right here on the rear bumper. Hopefully everything's good and it stops vibrating. This is the Harbor Freight Farm Jack. I mean, it does fine for me, but the crazy thing is it's almost, I think it's like three or four clicks away from the top and my wheel is barely off the ground. Can't really see a gap there. Yeah, you can see everything nice. I'm, I did this just to check to make sure there was no loose lug nuts and my bearings are good, but it feels good. Like I said, I felt a vibration on the way to work this morning. It's in the rear while we're here. Yeah, still, this one doesn't come off the ground. This is a factory rubber spacer, uh, aluminum one. I did extend the middle piece twice. So it extended it once right here. Oh crap, yeah, I extended it once right here. You can see the weld right there and I extended it again. Um, right in here where you can't really see. Just so the spring doesn't fall out when I articulate. Because before, with, without extending it, the spring will just fall right out. But besides that, I just, want, I just wanted to show that since the Jeep was already up. But yeah, no vibration. So I'm going to put it back down and, or no loose bolts. So I'm going to put it back down and uh, get to work. Just got all this in today. It's for my hydro assist, for my Jeep, so it can turn easier while I'm off-road and 
my tire, my front tire is a wedge in between rocks, so this will make life a lot easier. My buddy with the white Jeep, he had these two fittings for me. I just put it on there to see if it fits, and it does, of course. Um, he had these laying around, so he gave these to me, saved me a little bit of money there. All I'm waiting for now is my oil cooler to keep this thing cool, and that's about it. I'll post a video when I install it.